Guys, the ZVE 10 Mark II is upon us. It should be coming out very soon. So what do you think? Is this something you're gonna get? This is my thoughts on it. 4K60, sorry, there's a motorcycle coming by. I'm pretty sure it's gonna have the same sensor as the FX30 and the A6700, but it's not gonna have a mechanical shutter. Uh, you know, Sony Alpha Rumors, basically given the specs. Bigger battery, that's a must at this point. Sorry about the background noise there. Uh, that's a must at this point, the, the bigger battery. You can't, you're not gonna be able to operate that doing 10, uh, 10 bit. 4K60, I mean, you gotta have, a, you gotta, it's gonna be drawing some juice. You gotta have a good battery for that. My opinion was always that there's gonna not have an IBIS, um, just the active stabilization, it's gonna have uh, some some kind of active stabilization on it. As long as the price is under $1,000, I think it's gonna be a great deal. If you don't need a viewfinder, then why pay more? But overheating is gonna be where it's at. You know, is it gonna overheat? How much time can you get out of it before it overheats? I'm shooting right now in the ZV-E1 with the 28 to 75 Tamron, and I'm testing out this little Godox thing. Um, it's cool, it's the WEC-S kit too, which basically you just plug in the hot shoe and it works so far. So we'll see how it sounds. This is what I'm using right now. But I don't have to use an external mic uh, jack. I don't have to use the uh, port, right? So, you know, hey, there it is. I just wanna let you know. Uh, it's like 130 bucks, something like that. But hey, if it saves you from, you know, plugging this in, plugging that in, it's just more convenience. But that being aside, this should also work for the ZV-E10 Mark II that should have a hot shoe on it. If it doesn't, come on, that's that almost be a deal breaker at that point because, you know, if they're shaving off a lot, you know, the IBIS, not gonna have, right? And that's okay, I can get by with that. If it's on a tripod, it's no big deal, right? It's gonna have the FX30 6700 sensor, so you know it's gonna look okay, it's gonna, it's gonna look fine. 4K, 10-bit, 2.2, all that. Um, it's gonna have all that. And if you compare that to the Canon R50 right now, I mean, you can buy that 700 bucks with a lens. So, you know, I mean, they gotta, they gotta be able to offer the value. And the value is gonna be in, you know, the specs, which it's gonna be the, the better 10 bit. You know, the R50 is kind of a old tech kind of 4K, you know, this is, uh, ZV-10 is going to have no crop on the 4K60. Uh, I assume it's going to be just like the 6700. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm hoping it'll be 900. I'm hoping it'll be 899 or 999 with the new lens. Um, that's supposed to be a little better or whatever. So we'll find out. But let me know what you think. The ZV-E10 Mark II, are you going to buy it? Or are you going to stick with your old ZV-E10? I mean, if you're going to just shoot on a tripod at 24 uh, frames per second. Anyway, it's not going to make a difference, but I like shooting on 30 frames per second and that's what this is right now. One thing they're going to omit from that, uh, it sounds like, I don't know, this is AI chip, but really, I mean, I, ZVE1's got an yeah, AI chip. I don't know if it really does anything other than the tracking, you know, when you do the face tracking thing, but I don't use that anyway. I ain't got, I ain't got no use for that. So for me, I ain't no big deal. I mean, it'll probably have as good or better autofocus, I would think, or at least the same as the FX30, which is fine and great. So what's the big deal? So basically it looks like it's gonna be like the A6700 and a ZV-E10 body that's a little larger to accommodate the bigger battery, which it absolutely must have to get that, you know, the juice flowing to be able to pump out those specs. So, I mean, if you don't need the viewfinder, you don't need the AI chip, and you don't need the mechanical shutter for photos, right, because the ZV-E, line is mainly for video anyway, even though ZV-10 is great for pictures. So, but if you don't need the mechanical shutter, then that's cool, and I don't, personally. Yeah, I got an S5 II, I got a you know, ZV-E1, so I don't, I don't need the mechanical shutter. Let me know in the comments below, guys. We'll talk to you later, bye.